Hey friends and fellow toy junkies, welcome back to the channel. Just doing a quick video today, taking a look at the Transformers Kingdom Core Class Soundwave. Here's a quick look at the packaging. You got some wonderful artwork with Soundwave and Laserbeak on the front. And the back, your obligatory product shots. Very simple, very straightforward. That being said, let's see what he has in store for us. So here we have Core Class Soundwave out of his packaging. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna address the elephant in the room. If you notice the leg right there, it appears to be backward. But sadly, that is due to a misassembly at the factory. As you can see, the cutout there at an angle, which corresponds with the one on this side, Sadly, they gave me two left upper thigh connections for this. So I'll be reaching out to Hasbro. Possibly they'll send me a replacement. I don't know. But just that is the only thing present. Um, it doesn't affect transformation or anything of that nature. It's just I have a backwards thigh joint. But anyhow, he is a really good looking bot. Uh, nicely painted face with the red silver. Coming down the arms, you've got some very well done sculpted detail and paint accents. Even on the sides. Looking at the chest, you do have wonderful gold painted around the, the chest plate and the trim. This does open up and you've even got some nicely sculpted detail on the inside. Nice silver here for the play buttons, for the cassette. Again, nice, nicely painted accents, even on the inside of the legs. On the outside, eh. And then you have the sculpted feet. As far as articulation, everything is on balls, so you do get the ability to look up and spin the head. Arms, they are very tight, but they can do a full 360. 90 degrees of motion on the elbow. This can twist back and forth. No ab rotation. Legs, if you flip up the skirt, can get all the way up to there, all the way out, and nothing really back. You can get 90 degrees on the knee, and the feet are stationary. They're on balls, but just due to the, the way they transform, you don't get any tilt at all. So the only function you have is a little bit back. So a little bit limited as far as articulation goes, but I mean, given what he is, a $10 figure with this, this good of uh, sculpt work and paint, I'm not surprised at the lack of articulation in the feet, but let's go ahead and bring in his accessories. Uh, first thing you get is his shoulder cannon which does have some nice red accents on the front for the missiles very reminiscent of the G1 toy sculpt and that can peg in right there on his shoulder which is easier said than done on camera so you can go with that. Next thing he comes with is his, his laser gun, his cannon, whatever you want to call it. Uh, nicely, nicely sculpted in, with silver accents on the front, red accent line, and pretty much the same sculpt work as the shoulder cannon. But it does look really good. And as you can imagine, he does hold that very well. And he looks really good. The last 
piece is actually laser beak. Now, it doesn't transform, but look at that sculpt work. It literally looks like the toy sculpted in painted for this size bot. You can see the wings at the top. Fold it over. It looks really, really good. Now, it is just solid plastic. A mirrored detail there on the back that's not painted. But it looks amazing. And you can, as you saw before, open up his chest. He will slide right in. And you can close it up. So, very nicely done figure. Especially for something this small. Let's go ahead and take a look at the transformation. Very simple as you would expect. The hands which are fixed do rotate down. We'll go ahead and take these off now. And very simple, similar to the G1 transformation, they simply rotate to the back. And you'll notice this peg and port. Just plug it in. Same for this side. Just like that. Go ahead and give your head a spin. Push it down. Rotate your leg. And you'll notice another peg and port. Now the feet, you have the choice. You can leave them like this. Or you can turn them down and leave them up. I think, I think that this does look a lot better. So, just arms, just because of the tightness that is present in the shoulders, can want to fight you when you want to plug it in to the ports on the back. But, there we go. Nice little figure, to be honest. And the same details do come through. Uh, painted chest, Decepticon symbol on the front. You can see laser beak through the transparent smoked glass. But for what he is, man, I think he's an amazing little bot. He looks really good. As you would expect, you can store his weapons on the back in alt mode. Just for comparison, here he is with a Legend Scale New Age car and a Deluxe Class. So I think that gives you a good idea of how big he is. He is a little guy. Once again, just for comparison, here he is with Legend Scale New Age Streak and Transformers Deluxe Class Smokescreen. So final thoughts on this guy? Uh, in my opinion, he, uh, he's a good little figure. He scales pretty well with actually the, uh, the new age, uh, scale. If you have legends figures, but I mean, he's obviously, he's no replacement for a third party sound wave in legend scale. Uh, the sculpt and paint are very, very nice. The arms are a little bit limited. Like this is the best I could do with the, the typical sound wave pressing the button pose before the shoulder popped off the ball joint but for what it is at a ten dollar price point yeah, he's really cool and they put a lot of love into this you can tell with all the paint apps and the sculpting so all that being said this is definitely a recommend for me if you could find it i do know that uh he is up for pre-order on the chosenprime.com. 
And uh, if you're lucky like me, you can find them in the wild, but just make sure that the copy that you pick up, you check for the, uh, the thigh issue that I have. So we'll see what Hasbro does to, to fix the issue. But yeah, definitely pick them up if you can find them. All that being said, if you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, and I hope to see you again next time.